go to the Cowboys because that's the next team you're going to make an argument for to win the Super Bowl. 1995, they haven't made it out of the divisional round in those 27 years. Uh, Forrest Gump was the best picture. Clueless was the hot release. Gangsta's Paradise and TLC's Waterfalls were the top songs. And Jerry Jones was the rifled age of 53 at the time. JJ, why will the Cowboys win the Super Bowl this year? Yeah, you know, Forrest Gump won Best Picture, but actually it was only the third best film from the 1994 year. Pulp Fiction, number one, Shawshank Redemption, number two. And then Forrest Gump. I digress <laughs> uh, to that this? point. <laughs> um, crazy. However, that, that won't have anything to do with whether the Cowboys finally win the Super Bowl again there in Jerry World. Listen, the fact is, if you want to win games, you have to score points in the NFL. This is a Cowboys offense. They score points. They led the NFL last season in points scored. You go back to before uh, Dak Prescott's uh, ankle injury there at the start of the 2020, uh, 2020 season, you know, they were third in points scored uh, through the first four games of the season. You have Kellen Moore back as offensive coordinator, much like Byron Leftwich again until he becomes an NFL head coach. Mike McCarthy, say whatever you want to about him. Those two have figured out how to score points with this Dallas Cowboys offense. I mean, they scored 56 and 51 points in two of their final three games of the regular season. So that matters. And then you know what else matters? Scheduling matters. And the, the, the Dallas Cowboys had to have loved when this schedule came out because, first of all, they already knew they were playing in the NFC East. Uh, it's not necessarily a cakewalk, but it's not the most difficult schedule uh, in the world. You look, And they also play the AFC South. All right, you're going to have the Colts. You're going to have a Titans team that a lot of people are expecting to be down this year. You have the NFC North. Yes, the Packers are going to be difficult. But you also get the Lions and you get the Bears. And then consider how this schedule is built, that they get Tampa and Cincinnati to start. They also have the Rams in week five, but they get a lot of their tough games out of the way early. Not only do they get them out of the way early, but it prepares them for the dog days of the season. And then finally, they have a week nine bye. Is the bye going to come at the right time? The bye comes at the right time for every team, Amanda. But a week nine bye for this team, look who that next game is against. It's at Lambeau. It's the Mike McCarthy revenge game up there in Lambeau where they have a, a street named after him and they get 14 days rest before they face Mike McCarthy. And then finally, the third reason, they have the best pass rusher in the NFL. That's right. I said it. All due respect to all the other pass rushers who were out there and the Bosa brothers and Miles Garrett and the like. Listen, Micah Parsons is a dude who one out of every five times he is attempting to rush the passer, he is going to get pressure on said passer. He has a pressure rate of 21%, which is the highest rate in the next-gen stats era dating back to 2016. And he can line up anywhere. He can get pressure from wherever. He can be the off-ball linebacker. He can line up along the line of scrimmage as that traditional defensive end. Dan Quinn, who is back yet again before he becomes a head coach for a second time, can use him in any number of ways that he wishes. And he's had an entire offseason to grab a napkin and write on the back of it all these different little blitz schemes that he can use Micah Parsons in. And so for those reasons, Cowboys fans, I am telling you, <laughs> since uh, Tom Hanks and Forrest Gump robbed Quentin Tarantino of the best picture of the 1994 year that was given out in 1995. You can hoist the Lombardi Trophy. And Micah Parsons was not even born yet. Not even for like another four or five years at that point. Jonathan Jones, we're going to talk after this. I have no idea how you know about all of these movies and what year they came out because I use our good friend Google. But thank you so much for joining us here and making phenomenal arguments, taking a look at odds from these teams in the NFC to go ahead and win the Super Bowl there. Tampa Bay has the best ones at plus 350. Behind them, Green Bay, as JJ said, a little desperation. The Rams, they can do it with all their weapons. And then, of course, the Dallas Cowboys. Everything JJ laid out on the table when it comes to the Cowboys with the easiest schedule tie with commanders in the entire NFL. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.